This pair of signaling proteins is breathing new life into diabetes research. Scientists from the Dosman Diabetes Institute in Kuwait, in collaboration with scientists from the Department of Surgery and Department of Pharmacology and Toxicology at Kuwait University, are exploring how they might be harnessed to treat type 2 diabetes and obesity. First discovered within only the past decade, irisin and meteorin-like protein are relatively new to scientific research. These proteins are signaling molecules produced by muscle and fat in response to exercise and exposure to cold temperatures. They signal mitochondria to generate energy, which helps warm the body and ultimately promotes weight loss. This makes irisin and meteorin-like protein promising targets for treating obesity and type 2 diabetes. Interestingly, however, researchers from the Dasmon Diabetes Institute recently discovered that these proteins are already elevated in people with obesity and type 2 diabetes. High levels of irisin and meteorin-like protein could be a sign that the body is attempting to restore normal function. In rats that underwent weight loss surgery, the team found an increase in the levels of irisin and meteorin-like protein that correlated with an improvement in metabolic health. This increase was also beneficial in boosting heat production, as reflected by higher expression of the thermal protein UCP1 in mitochondria. Separate experiments revealed how irisin and meteorin-like protein interact with muscle and bone. Though generally associated with supporting and protecting our vital organs, the muscular and skeletal systems also play an important role in metabolism. Muscles stockpile carbohydrates in the form of glycogen for use as fuel, while the bone stores vital minerals and regulates blood supply. Results showed a strong association between irisin and meteorin-like protein and the bone markers osteoactivin and osteoprotogerin, which are involved in bone formation. This molecular crosstalk could play a role in bone and muscle complications associated with type 2 diabetes and obesity. More work is needed to understand the interaction between these various markers. Mapping these relationships could point the way to new treatments that counteract the effects of type 2 diabetes and obesity. Founded by the Kuwait Foundation for the Advancement of Sciences, the Dasman Diabetes Institute has dedicated numerous efforts to combating diabetes mellitus and its complications through high-quality research. These efforts are aligned with the Institute's mission to address the diabetes epidemic in Kuwait through focused diabetes research, integrated prevention, and training and education for a healthier and safer society.